In this Vocalic review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this app. Vocalic is an AI voiceover and video creation tool, and I'm really excited to show you this today. Once we log into Vocalic, we are greeted by the dashboard. Here we have a product demo, which is a short video, and then we also have some quick stats to the right, which include our stats for total audio, total video, and our total credit left. Below there, we also have a quick links where we have a new audio, new video, new podcast, or my drive. To the left, we have a toolbar that has audio, video, YouTube, podcast, library, bonuses, and support. If we go ahead and click on audio, we have the option of new audio and my audio. If we just click on new audio, here on the new audio section, we have the option to set the language. We can do different dialects like English, US, Welsh, Canadian, etc. And then we can set our title, and there's also the option for spin content. On the left, below English, we have engine options. We either have standard or AI voice, and then we can select our voice. So we have a few different options here. To listen to them and get a sample, we do have a play button next to the voice. Hi, my name is Ivy. I will read any text you type here. And that gives us an idea of what we're going for. I'm going to go for Justin. And then once you've selected a voice, if you type in your text into the text box, once we've inputted our text, at the bottom we do have an output volume box where we can select from default, extra soft, soft, medium, loud, or extra loud. I'm just going to go ahead and go on soft. Then we also have a speaking rate box where we can select from default, extra slow, slow, medium, fast, and extra fast. I'm going to go for medium. We do have the option to add a one second pause in between our text. So if I wanted to add a pause between my and Vocalic review, I'll just select there. We then have the options to preview or synthesize to file. I'm going to go ahead and go on preview and it then generates our speech file. Hello, my name is Daniel and this is my vocalic review there we go if we go ahead and click on synthesize to file then it shows up here where we have the option to play it download it view tts or delete it this also shows up now in the my audio section if we go down from audio to video we have the option of create video whiteboard video and my video let's just go and click on create video so as we can see here, we have two options. We have upload and search. On the upload section, as it says here, create beautiful videos by uploading your own pictures. And we can choose some of our own images to add to this. We can then enter our video title, select the format. So we can go HD 720p, full HD 1080p, standard definition 720p, or Instagram post square. We can then select our audio from either my audio or upload in our own file. So as we can see, when we select audio from my audio, the audio that we made before will show up at the bottom. So mine was obviously Daniel's review. So I'll just select that. We then have a selection of animations to choose from, including fade out, right to left, left to right, zoom pan, black and white, green effect, blur, and many more. I'm going to go ahead and go for vintage. We do also have the option to watermark it, so we could enter some text, choose the position, the font, font size, font color, and box color, and that will then display on our video. And then once you're happy, if you go to upload and process, and it will show up in our my video section. So once our video is finished processing, if we click on it. Hello, my name is Daniel and this is my vocalic review. Below video, we have the YouTube section. If we click on there, we get YouTube integration, add YouTube video, or list YouTube video. So if we go on YouTube integration, so we have the options of entering a client ID and a client secret. Below YouTube integration, we have add YouTube video. This takes us over to our my video section. And as we can see the video we made earlier, we have the options to share it to various social medias, download our video, or if we click on the YouTube button, we have the option of adding that video into YouTube. Below add YouTube video is list YouTube video. So below YouTube, we have podcasts. 
If we go ahead and click on there, we have the option of new podcast and my podcast. So this will bring up all our audio recordings. Obviously, we've only done one, so that's showing up at the top with Daniel's review. If obviously you had a lot of audio recordings, you do have the option to search at the top there. We can add a title and we also have the option of selecting some background music. So I'm going to go for the inspiration and then next to it, we can just play it as well. We can set the background music volume. We can set it from 0.25 all the way up to 2. And then we can also set the audio file volume from 0.25 to 2. We do also have the option of clicking the plus button and that will add our audio into the voice file list. I am having some problems adding our own audio, so for now I'm just gonna add some of the sample ones that we have. Once you're happy, if you just click merge and generate, once that's processed, we can see that it's generated our own podcast there, and we have the option of playing it, downloading it, or deleting it. I'm just gonna play this. Right pointing finger, pre-launch swipes right pointing finger, early bird launch swipes right pointing finger, best game changer swipe right pointing finger, and there we go and then this is obviously our my podcast area so anything we create podcast wise will show up here below podcast we have library which has a free stock search my file and my drive and then below library we have bonuses where if we click on there it's got an array of different packs that we can download back on the dashboard if we were having any issues we just click the little man and the whiteboard at the top and that takes us over to a video training or a PDF training. So what did I think of Vocalit? Well, I thought it was a really promising AI application. It was very simple to navigate around and I really like how easy it was to create audio and videos. There was a wide selection of different voices available on the audio section, which also included different dialects and languages, which was really cool. There was a few small issues that I did have. For example, the list YouTube button just kept taking me over to YouTube integration. If these two are the same, then that button could just be removed. I also had some problems adding my own audio to the podcast. It wouldn't seem to let me use the audio that we had previously made. Despite these small issues, though, I really like this application. I definitely recommend it, and I look forward to seeing where it can go in the future. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.